going on guys and welcome back to the channel today um, so last night went to the track um, to hopefully use the NOS bottle and what ended up happening was it started to mist and couldn't I only got one running and the car got drivetrain error and um, I had to adjust the tune for it because of the NOS and um, yeah so my night was ruined and so now I found out that Brandington Motorsports Park was doing a huge event where they were letting people run. So I think it's called the Mix Meet. And um, I just drove two hours. And it's kind of sprinkling here and there. So I'll be kind of pissed if, uh, you know, if I don't get to run today. Just drove two hours. I'm ready to use this nitrous that's in the back. Just sitting there chilling. Hopefully, maybe get like a a super low 10 or a 9. I'm hoping for a 9, but we're, we're going to see what happens. All right. We are going to see what happens. All right. I'll keep you guys updated. I forgot to mention that this meat, I think, is a premier like Euro meat. So Volkswagens and BMWs and uh, Audis are here. But you know, they like to call my car, even though it's a Toyota. They like to call it a BMW, so I guess I'll fit right in. Alrighty guys, so registration is done. Got it all good, ready to go. I think 11 o'clock, um, we're allowed to start lining up and getting ready to go. I can't wait. Hopefully the car acts right today. It's nice and cold, so I'm pretty sure the DA is pretty low too. Let me see actually. Um, Let's see. Oh, look at that. 670 DA. So it should be a good day today. We'll find out. Oh, baby. Whoop, 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 whoop. I know you guys are wondering why my car is on right now. While I'm not even near it, it's because it's because of that down there, okay, guys. <laughs> Last night when I went out to the track, it wasn't, it didn't have enough pressure. It was too cold, so now I'm just sitting here warming it up with the floor heaters. Um, I don't have a bottle heater for it, so it kind of blows and it kind of sucks. So um, yeah, that's how that goes, you know. So I'm hoping that. Uh, it gets nice and toasty that way it builds pressure and it does what it's supposed to do spraying down the track right now we'll see how the first pass goes i probably will have to make an adjustment but we'll see how it goes What is going on guys? I am back. Today did not go as expected, okay? I was expecting to go out, drive two hours, and get my nine finally, um, with the help of uh, using a 75 shot, um, dry shot um, of NOS. I think I may have found a limit to the car, and I think I'm the first one, and uh, I think maybe part of the constant abuse that I put this car in maybe be the result of it or maybe I just found a limit. Um, so I went up to the line and as you guys could see, um, I warmed up my bottle before. I didn't warm it up last night. I just hit drivetrain error when I shot it. And the crazy thing was is that I guess I didn't have it um, pressurized enough because it was so cold last night that when I launched on that 75 shot last night it wasn't that big of a difference and I noticed that the car didn't feel like it actually left um, pretty good but it did give me a drivetrain error which I knew 
was because of um, it hitting the limiter um, just due to the NOS and uh, so I dumped it down and then we got rained out last night so today I was like I need to actually warm up the bottle so as you guys in the earlier part of the video I uh, well heated it up and I got up to the line and I'm like alright here we go we're gonna do this and I had my button ready did the burnout everything was good and uh, got up to the light as soon as that third yellow came on, yo, I let go of the brake, 100% throttle, and I hit that button at the same time, and it felt like a, a rocket ship, all right? It felt like a rocket ship for the first maybe one to two seconds, just due to the fact that at the 60 foot, which um, the guy was telling me that it showed the 60 foot at a 1.39 60 foot and as soon as it hit the 60 foot I lost all power and something was clunking and I was like well there goes my pass so I quickly pulled over because obviously you don't want to you know push fluid down the track or whatnot so I quickly pulled over I tried to put it in drive um, reverse and it just wasn't going anywhere um, and all I heard was a clunking noise. I looked under the car. I didn't see any fluid, nothing like metal, nothing exploded. So it was kind of weird. Um, so I had to drag it backwards and sit there. And this was maybe at 11 o'clock. It was 11 o'clock. So I had to call a tow truck, which I didn't end up leaving there till like 2 o'clock. And then now I'm home. I don't know what the issue is yet, but that's what I'm actually about to find out right now. I'm about to use my uh, little uh, quick jack that I have down there to do it. Those are, it comes in pretty handy. It was like a $1,000, um, but it's in my garage right now. And I'm gonna raise it up and put it in neutral and spin those wheel tires because when we took it, this whole time I'm thinking it's the trans. And if you guys didn't know, the trans is about $10,000. So um, I talked to a few people and they're not thinking that it is the trans. Um, as I got here at like seven or six, it was like five or six o'clock. Um, we got it off the tow truck as we were rolling it, pushing it back. I heard the clunking noise coming from the rear of the car where the diff is. Um, and if you guys didn't know, some of the guys that have the supers have a leaking diff, but the leak's so like small, but you can tell that there's been fluid dripping off. Um, so I didn't really take it that serious, but I think the clunky noise is coming from the diff. I'm hoping that it's just the diff and maybe the track because that track was super sticky. And just like that, the quick jacks did some work and I have access to the full underground. Um, I don't know if you guys watched my previous videos when I did my WRX trans. There's enough room to drop a trans. Whatever you need to do, there is enough room. And it raises up a good amount to where you can fit under there. Now let me see if uh, if I set this in neutral so I can show you guys. Um, I'm gonna have to start it up for a quick second. turn it off um, as you guys can see the motor starts so you know I didn't break the motor but maybe you guys can hear the clunking noise hold on I forgot the parking brake <sighs> gotta turn that off alrighty <sighs> just in case you know I had to start it up in front of you guys just in case you know Oh, and Bob broke his motor. No, I didn't break the motor. But, oh, you guys hear that shit. So, let me actually uh, get, get up. Let me get a light. That way you guys can see with me and hear it. As you guys can see, um, it's been leaking a good amount. But for the moment, the truth, it looks like that axle's fine. That axle is fine. Oh, there goes my chassis code right there. 
why my chassis code keeps coming on is because that broke off. And I'm pretty sure that there's another one on this side and it probably broke off too because of the way that I have my tire set up. Oh, whoa, 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 wait, 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 wait. Maybe it was just an axle. And boom, guys, we found the culprit. Yep. Damn. So I don't think, I don't think that it's the actual trans. I broke an axle. I did see something leaking earlier from here. And nope, I think the trans is good, guys. <laughs> I think I found the issue. If I can get this light perfectly, then you guys can see. Look at that. Look at that. The whole fucking thing. Let me, I'm trying to position this right for you guys. So you guys can see perfectly. All right, let me see. If I can spin this. Yep. That broke. Wow, it pushed out the whole, I'm pretty sure there's supposed to be a locking mechanism in there and it broke it. Alrighty guys, so as of now, as you guys can see, um, at the current moment, all I broke was an axle. Um, thank God it was just an axle. I still have to check everything else. Um, I gotta go through, once I replace that axle, I gotta go through and make sure that everything else is good. So we're still not out the word, out the woodworks yet, but I'm kind of happy that it's that and nothing else at this current moment. So stay tuned and I'll, you know, obviously post up an update soon. Thanks for watching and, you know, thanks for subscribing and liking the channel. If you like the videos, comment down below. I'll respond. If you have any questions, let me know. All right, peace out.